It's Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Nomadic Navigator Sling 10 liters, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So if you're familiar with any other nomadic products, especially their slings, I mean, you can really tell looking at this that this is a nomadic product. It's got the same similar uh, shape and design. We've got the, the branding here on this sort of tarpaulin uh, piece up here, which we see on a lot of nomadic bags. And the rest of the exterior though is a blend of nylon and polyester it's water resistant a little scratchy but you know it just everything brushes right off which is really great there's also on the front here we do have these two reflective bars which especially because this is the black color way you know if you're riding your bike or walking in the dark you know this way you can definitely be seen and along with the black colorway it does come in another one called tiger stripe which you'd think would be black and orange but it's not it's like a camouflage and then the tiger stripes are like a black stripe so anywho if you want that we have two well padded carry handles here so that you can especially like carry it this way because this is the opening for the main compartment and for the front compartment, it's a great place to have a carry handle. And then we have Zoom zippers and they are tamper resistant. Let me show you what that means. They've kind of got this like wire here and then a plasticky pull and they're tamper resistant because you can sort of hook them together like that where you just put one through the other and then it's just harder for somebody to get in your bag otherwise we also have a YKK buckle back here on the strap we're going to talk about that later and there is also a luggage pass through and they've got the nomadic motto there life on the move and so this way you can tell this is the way you slide it on like you you put it through this way so that the, the zipper is facing upwards again. Also, in addition to the carry handles, I do wanna mention, oops, there's this little uh, sort of webbing handle, which is really great because this top carry handle is a little thick and wide to be putting on a hook. This lets you hang it on a hook very easily. So this is not your typical sling strap. It is very wide at the top and it is densely padded, which is good because you're gonna be carrying, you know, a laptop or whatnot in here, other heavy gear. And it's also good that it's densely padded because it, you can't, it does not have ambidextrous carry. You cannot switch sides. So uh, the shoulder that this goes on is going to get sore after a while. So it's good that there's good padding. Moving down, you see we have a little slot for either like a hotel key card or a bus pass, whatever you need to just get at really quickly. I wouldn't put a credit card there, but you know, it allows you to pop it out. And then moving down here, you'll see this little attachment point. And that is for, over here we have a little pocket where you can pull out the stabilizer strap and hook that in in case you needed a little more stabilization as you're carrying this around. Um, below the, the very beefy YKK buckle, we have a nice adjustment, which works really well and also has a little strap keeper. I found it stays in place, which is really awesome. And then check out the back panel. We have more of this really, really actually even denser padding in the polygonal shape that you see on other nomadic bags and it re really is pretty comfortable. So this is a very professional looking bag especially in this black color way. I'm not sure about how you'd feel professionally taking the camouflage one but you do you. Um, 
I do have the stabilizer strap already attached just so you can see how it goes because I found it is not really fast to, to hook that in when it's on. So I wouldn't be able to do that quick enough, but it's there if you need it. And I mostly just put it away. The, the, the harness system is fairly comfortable, except for if you use it for a long period of time, obviously this left shoulder is going to get more sore. My biggest issue is this huge buckle really rubs up against my sternum and it did on some of our other team members, but not on everybody. So it might rub on you, it might not. Your mileage will vary. I really like this for short trips. All right, so there are a few extra pockets around this 10 liter sling to show you. Before we do though, I did want to sort of show you, this is the stabilizer strap and you see you can just sort of roll it up and then it just tucks inside this pocket, sometimes easier than others. And then there you go, it's completely hidden away if you don't want to use it. And also because it is always attached, it's really nice because then you won't lose it. So that's a great shout, right? Flipping around here, we're gonna start on the left side. You'll see this long zipper and it is actually a hidden water bottle pocket, which is very convenient because it's this very nice stretchy mesh. It's got elastic on top and you can slide in your water bottle if you need it. But then if you don't, and you will see it's a little, it's tight, you know, and you can, I managed to slide in a very thick water bottle, but then you are really struggling. So I really recommend just sort of the standard width bottles. They work best here, but it's awesome because then you have it if you need it. And it does, it definitely impacts the look some, you know, that might not be your jam, but if you don't need it, then it just tucks right away. You pull out your bottle, set it aside, tuck that back in and now we've got the sleek profile again and you don't have a pocket just hanging around. So that's really awesome. Then on the other side, we have this sort of matching zipper, but this one goes to the front compartment. Now this front compartment is really large. It's almost this whole size of the bag. And so I didn't find it as quick access as I would like it to be because say like I'd be wanting to get my AirPods, they are like all the way down here at the bottom and it, you can see there, got them out. But it's really hard to get at whatever ha has slid inside. And then I would try to do things like sort of stack like a pouch and then my phone so it would be very easy to get out and then i'd go to take out that pouch and of course then my phone slides down so then the next time it's not as easy to find i know semantics but it's a little annoyance i would have preferred them to like divide up the space personally and give me a little one at the top for like my phone and then a smaller another one for my other small gear just my opinion what this does have though, and I hope I can show you, there you go, is we have a cord pass through so that you could charge your phone or your you know, tablet or whatnot from a battery bank that's inside while you have it outside the bag or while you have it in the front compartment, which is pretty cool. All right, so to go into the main compartment, you can see that it is really easy for you to then open those tamper resistant zippers. All it's doing is slowing somebody down or really you could, you know, put a lock through those wires if you would like and then really secure it. So it's the zipper is sort of like a backwards C and so it makes it open sort of like a new book, which is to say not all the way, but far enough. And so along the front panel here, you will see we have three uh, stretchy mesh pockets. It's the same stretchy mesh topped with the same elastic as on that water bottle pocket. And so I've got a mouse here, notebook, and then you can see this is where the, the pass through comes through to the main compartment. So there's the cord for my battery bank, which I have there to be able to charge whatever I wanna charge. Um, I did find like this mouse here, 
You might want to put it in a different pocket. There's a zipper pocket that I'm going to get to very shortly because as you're swinging this thing around, it can fall out. So this is really better for larger gear that's just going to stay put. Now, swinging around here, we do have more pockets. We've got a very large, again, stretchy mesh pocket that zips at the top. So that's a great place for like, you know, wall chargers, I've got some cords in here. You could throw that mouse in there, just things you don't want floating around at the bottom because then obviously when you open the bag, they could sort of fall out the side or which is the top or bottom if you, if you tip the bag and don't zip it back up. Then next to it, we have a not stretchy mesh pocket. It is RFID safe to protect your wallet, passport, other important documents from digital theft. And then in the middle here, you have a pen, a pen slot. I did find like if you don't unzip this all the way and you are trying to pull out something from the middle, you can sort of catch it on a pen that has a little clip like mine did. But so, you know, your pen might pop out that way. Just something to be aware of. And if you use it for like an Apple pencil without a clip or any other, you know, sort of pen without a clip, you won't have that issue. Behind that is the laptop sleeve. We can hold up to a 13 inch MacBook Pro and we've got the 3D printed model here. You can see it went in really easily, but it does fit, fill the space, so you're not getting a bigger laptop in there. And I do wanna show you, if you put bulky gear in this mesh pocket, it does sort of bulge into the laptop sleeve. It doesn't make it so you can't put the laptop in, it just, sometimes you gotta wiggle it in a little better, but it does hold it nice and tight. In the middle then, you will see I've got a pouch here because there's not a whole lot more space. I can like barely get my hand in there, but so there's not a whole lot of space in the middle. It's mostly taken up by the five pockets and the laptop sleeve. You know, you could fit like a packable jacket or whatnot in there, but not a whole lot else in order to probably keep this nice sleek profile that we've got going on here. So there you have it, the Nomadic Navigator Sling 10 Liter. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.